Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Cube 3D node. So we're going to jump into Fusion where we have 3D setup and we've just got our ambient light, our spotlight, our camera, a merge, a render, and our media out. And uh, today I'll make sure I enlarge this. Uh, yesterday apparently I uh, forgot to turn it back on. And uh, so jumping in, we're going to bring in a Cube 3D node. And the cube 3D node is just like any other shape node, but there's a pretty big difference in this. And we'll, we'll go over this here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our cube 3D node. And I'm going to uh, transform it back. So there is our cube 3D node. And on the node itself, go ahead and spin this. On the node itself, we can change the size. We can lock the height and width so we can change the width and height independently, as well as changing the subdivisions independently. And we can change the subdivisions, which means breaking up our box into multiple uh, subdivisions. We have cube mapping, which I will go over here in a minute. And we have the ability to show wireframe, wireframe and aliasing. And then down here under our visibility, lighting, matte, blend mode, normals and tangent. These are all the same as our shape nodes. All the settings are all the same. Now within the material node, this is where this node really differs. And if you notice here, we have multiple inputs for this node. And what the cube node allows you to do is input different images, whether it's 2D or 3D, into each face of the cube. And each image can be different unless we go back here and we select this cube mapping. And what cube mapping does is it allows you to put one image to cover all the faces, but your image needs to be uh, kind of like a UV image and unwrapped like an unwrapped texture. And if you don't bring in a texture map like this, it's not going to work quite right. I'll show you what happens. And let's spin our cube until we see our little logo here. And there it is right there. So you can see this image right here of my little logo is not showing up correctly because it's not formatted correctly in an unwrapped texture. So let's disconnect that, go back here and we're going to shut off cube mapping. Now where this node really shines is when we do use those individual faces to do things. And each face has a uh, different color assigned to it. So we have front, right, left, bottom, top and back. So you can assign different colors to it. As you see, we have different colors on all the different sides, but you can also input images. So if I input this image into our right, and let's find our logo. And there it is. So our image is showing up green, even though this is our image, our image is showing up green. And that's because within our material nodes, if we go to, that was the right, if we go to the right, we actually have our diffuse color set as green. And within your colors, we have all the same color, the diffuse, the specular, and the transmittance, just like we do on the other shape nodes. But if we want our original image to be the original color, all we have to do is change it to white. So now it's our original color and we could actually take this image and input it into every single face. Go to each of our faces, change our color to white.
So now we have our logo showing on all sides of our uh, cube. So you can animate this as your little logo and you'd be good to go. Now you can also bring other multiple images in if you would like. So we could say, I don't know, bring this in. And, uh, so we've got an image and on our image, Go ahead and turn this so we can see what we're doing. We could do things like uh, we could throw a mask on it. And let's uh, give it some corners. And let's flip our angle to 45. And I like to cheat and make this the easy way. I'll just resize this. And now if we look at our image, we've got that cut off. And we could take this and then put this into every single side. Now you've got a cool little cube with images and you could do a different image on every side if you wanted to. So that is the cube note. I will see you in the next note breakdown.